What's up guys? Let's talk glam today. I want to share my five super fast tricks, at least my go-tos anyway, for looking glam without a whole lot of effort. And don't get me wrong, I love watching long, in-depth glam makeup tutorials, and sometimes I'll incorporate those techniques into my makeup routine, but when it comes to every day, my go-to makeup routine, I want instant gratification. I want to glow up to go from zero to 60 like that. And so these are the tips and things that I find myself using to do that because at my core, I'm trying the least to look the most when it comes to makeup. And these are the things that help me do that. So let's get started. First up, an all matte, all nude eyeshadow look to create some subtle contrast. I love playing with shadows, but I don't think you need a million or realistically five to 10 to create a look that feels polished and put together. By choosing all matte shadows, one that, it, you know, like a handful, three, two to three matte shadows, one that is about your skin tone, maybe a little lighter, and then one or two that are two to three shades deeper, you can create some really nice natural looking contrast that still emphasizes your eye area. But because you're not using any shimmer or texture across the lids, you have to worry less about blending it all out and spending time really working that into your crease because that texture difference between your skin and the shadow is kind of a dead giveaway. So working with mattes to create that contrast, I find is like instant elevation in an eye look. Today for this look, I use my Urban Decay uh, Naked Basics palette, a classic classic in terms of all matte shadows. And then I also used one brush for this too. This is the Morphe M513. And because of the shape, it's like fluffy, but has a pretty tapered tip relative to some crease brushes out there. This is perfect for both an all over shadow brush to just kind of buff something in quickly. That taper tip gets in the inner corner, but then it's fluffy enough to also get that crease really working and blended beautifully. And while matte shadows can be a little bit easier to work with on a time crunch, that's not to say you can't use Use some shimmers if you want to. In fact, that leads to my second tip, which is to use a high shine shadow that brings a lot of dimension to the shape of your eyes. Often with shimmery or like metallic shadows, all it takes is one shadow look and, be and the shape of your eye will naturally reflect the light in different ways, making the shadow on the broadest part of your eye a little bit lighter, making it look like your eyes more forward as if you were to apply a highlight there, and it'll make the outer corners seem a little bit deeper and like you might have applied a deeper shadow there even though it's literally just reflecting off the shadow all you did was apply one shadow and blend it up in the crease the kinds of shadows I really like to do this with are cream shadows and in fact the ones that kind of inspired this were these from Kaja the moon crystals but there are a ton of other amazing cream shadows out there I will list them in the description box below and bonus if and if you're into them if you can find duo or multi chromatic shadows it's even better because it looks Looks like you applied two to three different shadows depending on how many colors are in there but you in fact just applied one the key is to getting a a shadow that blends really well and really quickly and easily. And so those that I'm listing below are exclusively easy to work with. But that's just another way that I love to create a super, super fast eye look that looks way more complicated than it actually was. Tip number three is a bold lip. And I feel like this is one of the oldest tricks out there. However, red gets all the glory when it comes to this tip, right? Everyone's like, pick a bold blue based red, makes your teeth look white, etc, etc. And don't get me wrong, love a blue based, bold blue based red. But I feel like you can do this with any any bold color. You can really experiment with an orange like I'm wearing today. This is the Bite Beauty Outburst Longwear Lipstick that I've been talking about quite a bit lately, I feel like. Um, but reach for hot pinks or purples or just colors that might be out of the ordinary and maybe even out of your comfort zone. But there is, I personally have this perception. Let me know what you think. But even though I put just as much effort into thinking about the nude lips that I wear and coordinating it with my makeup, when I see someone with a bold lip color, it just strike it says confidence to me. And it also maybe because it stands out against all the nude lips out there, it just to me implies a little bit more thought and effort, even though in reality, I know when I throw on a bold lipstick, it is because I'm not trying and I just want to look put together, you know? <laughs> Tip number four is probably no surprise to anyone who has been around here on the channel for a while. It's magnetic eyelash. Lashes, specifically magnetic accent lashes or half lashes. The one that I, the pair that I'm wearing today and absolutely love are the Ardell magnetic accents in the style 01. I have a video about tips for applying this. I seriously, once you get this down, it's like so easy to get these on and they are like instant lash extensions, but way cheaper and no maintenance and faster to apply, you know? But this style in particular has that flare in the outer corner, which I think is like universally flattering to any eye 
nice shape and it just it lifts the shape of your eyes again it's almost like you have a cat eye without actually needing to do the cat eye which in and of itself is another time saver so highly recommend these and the accents are definitely the way to go if you have had trouble with the full magnetic strip lash learning curve and tip number five is also probably not new to anyone if you've watched I mean literally any video here on the channel because I'm constantly wearing them they're press on nails you don't have to paint your nails worry about dry time touch them up they are instant peel off stick them on my favorite brands are impress and dashing diva I have so so many videos about them here on the channel um, these that I'm wearing today are a style called da or I don't know what the style is called but they are from dashing diva and in fact I they just launched a couple of new styles that I got in a few days ago I am so stoked to try these but these are actually a really great example of why I love them so much I mean yes you can get a classic kind of gel finish one color but you can also get styles with nail art that would take so so long for you to do or even a professional at a salon to do on you and here it takes less than 10 less than five minutes honestly once you get the hang of it and sizing and I mean it, it's so so fast to do these um, fun fact I cannot vouch for these as a time saver but just to let you know what I'm working with and what I'm trying in that same order from Dashing Diva I also got new gel nail strips I think there's a very similar to a lot of strips that have been out there for a while where you apply them and file them down but the pictures I've been seeing online look so so good so I picked up a couple of different styles that I'm super pumped to try I just need to wait I just applied these nails so I'm kind of waiting for them to wear off but when they do these are what I am trying up next because it just gives you a few more options when it comes to nail styles like look these have clear are they're clear half moon cuticle manis with like hollow strips gold foil and metal detailing like oh, so stoked anywho those are my five tips guys I would love to hear if you have any that are your go-to's that I haven't mentioned let us know down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next video bye guys